Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Trek Online. We're going to do the next mission to the Lost Dominion. So let's press L. And then, uh, again, we're not doing episodes because they were removed from the episodes. We're going to go to Available Missions. Scroll down. Um, so far we've done, see here, Second Wave, Gamma Operation, and Avajor. But we're going to scroll down here. We're going to find... Uh, where is it? Saw it a second ago. Ah, facility 428. <clears throat> and again, this stupid, bald female is going to want to give us our mission. So let's go ahead and listen to her. Uh, and I'm not uh, recommending listening to dumb, stupid women, but what the heck, she's giving us the mission. The Federation Council has authorized the release of the founder from the detention facility where she is currently being held. I need someone the Founder will respect to complete the transfer. You're the best candidate for the task. I don't expect any problems. But I didn't expect Jem Hadar from the past to crash the Borg conference either. So take my recommendations with a grain of salt. The important thing is the safety of Aaron and the Founder. We need their help if we want to end this standoff without more bloodshed. Okay, guys, I just want to point out a few things that I'm just noticing. Notice at the very end of this speech, so take my recommendation as a grain of salt, which means that something has changed here. Of course, they're, you know, trying to add all this other thing. They're adding a new character, new, vo new voicing, but they didn't change the text. They didn't think about that because they had to do gender swapping. That's what's important. Let's swap everything because we need to show that we'll put as many women here. It doesn't matter how ugly and how male-like they look because we need to, you know, put that out there. Well, F you. I'm sick and tired of it. I'll play the episodes I want to do. I'm going to ignore your things as much as I possibly can, but I'm going to bitch about it as much as I possibly can too. Also, I want to just look at the last sentence once again and say, Take oh uh, so so take my recommendation as a grain of salt. You know what? That's what I do with the feminists. I take everything they do as a grain of salt because you know what? It's fucking stupid. They show how retarded they are every single day by just pointing out all these things that really are not logical. Uh, I hope the people listening to this are actually smart enough to realize how stupid it is. And if you're not, I highly recommend you watching really smart women and women that are standing up for men right now and saying, you know what, this is not how men are. Not all men are rapists, killers, and all that kind of stuff. As you can see, I recently watched a video on that. So, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and accept this mission after I look at the rewards here. <clears throat> so, again, there's a duty officer, Dominion. Um, and then you can get a, this is one of the things that's cool about this episode, is you can get a Jemadar tactical officer if you want that. Uh, but you also have the Jemadar army here, that's part of the set that I already have. I have the armor, and I have the, uh, the weapon, uh, and I meant, of course, this is of uh, the shield. So let's go ahead and accept this mission, say goodbye to this stupid female. <clears throat> And I really hate the fact they can't fix this, our characters, as they stand up, step on their chairs. But anyway, <clears throat> let's plot a course to, to our mission and engage. Facility 4028. All right. Yes, everybody, we're here. I have put a new ship on the line here for you. And it is a galaxy-class starship from the future. And oh my gosh, let's go ahead and send that out oh I just remembered let's see what I got here um oh no what do I need um please tell me I have some armor over here all right I need Polaron defenses and I have this set up right now to fight the Borg so Tetrion I'm gonna have to throw this on here real quickly and what is this again Tetrion Tetrion. Oh, I have no more uh, Polaron defense. Um, well, that happens. Looks like I'm going to be able to take... I'll be taking a lot more damage. Because I forgot to put on Polaron. Well, actually, maybe I'm not doing a ship bat. Oh, that's right. Huh. I'm in the facility. I think there is some ship combat, but very little in here. So let's continue with the mission. Full impulse. Um, just so you guys know, for your uh, for your future Enterprise you can do, which is a Dreadnought Cruiser, 
Um, I do have the level up, uh, the tier 5. I can turn it into an upgrade that into a tier 6. But I want to let you know that you can actually have a cloaking device that comes with the ship. You can also add the saucer section so it can separate. And of course, you also have other things you can add here as well. So, another cool ship to get, and I'll probably be doing something with it in the future, especially when I turn it into a tier 6. All right, let's go ahead and continue with the mission. Here's ops. Uh, continue. Let's get into close. Getting closer here. Um, hail the facility. All right. Hail way way you. Who is in the general Arctis? The Dominion has endured for over two thousand years, and we will continue. Very well. I wait. You do understand that my patience is not an endless commodity, yes? When it is... I actually think Weyoun is an add-on to this, but it's a cool add-on. It's Weyoun. It's a main character. Uh, let's go ahead and beam down. Alright, here we are on the facility. Real quickly, I need to check my bridge officer here. Um, because some of my newer bridge officers do not have very good armor. I think that's who we got there. Yes, it is. So this gives him disruptors and anti-protons. Uh, this armor is extra energy, energy resistance. Let's go through here. I want pull, uh, jeez, no. Ah, oh, to be honest with you, I don't know what, uh, the defenses are going to need, be needed here. Anti chamber A. Wait. See, it's not that they Auto changed things up here. To the Follow the blue line but to zone A. what do I have here? I have anti-proton and disruptors. Um, blue line. Okay, let's go this way. So I can't think of what defenses they have. Oh, hang on. Authorized visitors must report to the Isolate warden. to zone A. Follow the blue line to isolation zone A. Okay, I'm here. Bingo. ISIS access granted. How you may proceed. Isolation zone A. Authorized visitors must report to the warden. Follow the blue line to isolation zone A. So I know they ended up using this in another mission. Um, one of the newer missions. And of course, if you hear me talk about those missions. I'm not impressed with anything out of Disgracery or Toilet Paper Picard. Extending walkway. My brother is presently watching Picard right now, and so it's funny to hear him complain about how stupid, boring that episode is, and how he basically turns Picard into this freaking Democrat, who apparently is mentally handicapped. And complaining about the Federation. Five, three, one. Not, don't need you. Wait. Why am I speaking to him? Um, I think your research is dangerous, but sorry. that's interesting. Who is he again? Speak to war and speech. Interesting. Um, Try to remember something about that. What is this? Let's see here. Um, I did see. I did see you a ask. May I see the founder now? All right. Speak to Wei Yun. No, yeah, 
that way in. Where the heck is... So I'm actually wondering if they changed some things in here. Founders are wise in all things. Did you know your psychographic profile is required reading for all Vorta field supervisors? It's quite a fascinating study. To say you've had an unusual career would be an understatement. I'm happy to hear it. Despite the delays, you're fulfilling your end of the deal adequately. I would like to remind you that the safety of the Founder is now your responsibility. If she is harmed, the Dominion will have no choice but to respond. Okay, well... <clears throat> Wait a minute. Alright, so now go this way. So I'm actually wondering when they added Wei Yun in here. I think we always talked to that one guy, or maybe there was a, something they added. I don't remember. <clears throat> um, but it's just a little, I think it's a side story thing that yeah, was added at some point. Oh, let's look at our map. That's right. I think we have to go this way. Oh. Hey guys, uh, keep keep focus on what's around you here because you'll be blasting your way out. Um, let's see here. think of just like exactly like, I don't remember who were well we're fighting the inmates that's what we're doing on our way out and I don't exactly remember why probably because every time I play this episode I'm watching Star Trek at the same time I'm playing it and let's see here and watching Star Trek and playing Star Trek you know you listen to what you watch Isolation and you play the game at the same time. Okay, here we are. We're approaching the founder. Extending walkway. There are later episodes where Odo actually is leading and talking to you, and I haven't played. I mean, I played them once, but again, I'm watching the show um, at the same time or watching something. Access granted. There is the founder. Open door. Access granted. Lower force field. So you'll notice her founder. She has a bucket and everything that Odo put in here. Let's talk to her. What do you want, Salad? So it sounds like the founder from Star Trek DS9. Right now, presently, I'm watching season six. I just finished, I think, the first disc, and then I'm on the middle of the second disc. Time is meaningless. I will. Then you mean to release me? Interesting. The price of my freedom, I trust, will not be insignificant. I will trust you, despite my inclination to do otherwise. I will return to the Great Link and to Odo. We have much to discuss. Lead the way. I wish to see what you solids have in store for me after all these years. So... Her voice is pretty close to the actress that played her in the series, but not perfect, but I think she's fine. Founder, your ordeal is at an end. Wayun, your line lives on. Good. Let us leave this place. Oh, that's right. We are... Founder! Wait. We have taken DS9 in your name and are prepared to extend our campaign throughout the Quadrant. Give your blessing to our victory. We are yours to command. I know you, Karakan. Your fleet failed us in the battle for Deep Space Nine. We lost because you did not arrive. The fleet was diverted passing through the anomaly. We did not... I need soldiers, Karakan, not excuses. You failed the Dominion once. 
I will not give you the opportunity to do so again. No! It can't! Ah! Attack! Kill everyone but the Founder! We are dead! We go into battle to reclaim our lives! I think not. Did you really think I came here alone? Loyal Jem Hadar, defend your god. Kill these traitors. All right, let's blast them. So again, the founder is helping us in this battle as well. ISIS is offline. Emergency protocols engaged. So, I don't really like the storyline that much for this one because it's not like the Jimadar to, you know, oh my gosh, enraged because they're not getting their way. Um, only those who want to be free want to be free. They have that, is that path. And those who are, you know, the, the basically the mind wipe took whatever they did, the, their character of they believe their gods, they want to follow them, it's their mission. There's only those two sides. It's I not the whole offline. vengeance the things. They follow, they kill themselves when they die. I mean, is, this is kind of, I think, a little bit unbelievable for this uh, for the characters of the Jemadar. Let's go ahead and continue with the mission. And I wish I had Polaron weapons or something like that. Um, how do I want to do this? I might try. Let's do this as well. I am going to try some ground weapon fighting. What? Okay. So run diagnostic. Actually, it's really bothering me. What weapons do I have? I have here extra polar on resistance. I have stealth apparently. Uh, health regeneration. Uh, see here, increased exploit damage, that's good. Uh, my shield, though, is anti-proton disruptor and tetrion. Um, let's see if I can find something that affects Polaron at least for my two characters. Oh, not you. Not you, too. Um... ISIS See is here. offline. Emergency protocols engaged. I may have nothing that actually is against Polaron. Um, Jimadar body armor. That is 100% uh, health regeneration. Eight shields. All right, and I think he was fine. Disruptor, yeah, so I don't have anything that is like, is well, what I'm wearing is the best Emergency thing, at least my character. Engaged. So I'll have to, you know, I like to have my characters wear around and like acceptable to everything, but let's go ahead and see. Tell us about the non-lethal protocols. Tell us about the lethal protocols. Lethal option selected. must return to their cells in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so is a violation of facility regulations. So again, I have i don't think I've ever actually read that. So Access I decided to try purpose. it. All right. All right, I may have to change something up here. Let's go over here real quickly. Oh, over here. Um, use control for engineer. So again, this has an engineer option to it. Emergency hollow matrix control. All right. Emergency hollow matrix control. Engineer reboot the hollow matrix and then realign the hollow matrix. Um, see, uh, circuit core main hollow. Uh, all right. 
What the hell does that mean? So I, I'm kind of confused because it's not actually giving me the option here. Um, Emergency hollow matrix control. It just says continue. All right. Violence ah, is against that's my problem. I was All trying to exit out the wrong way. Cut this bring down the size. So if you want brown combat, oh. this is a mission good for doing it. I definitely recommend bringing in a healer to keep you, he uh, you healthy. Right now I have uh, my friend over here. He has been, oh, combat fight. Taking down a prisoner. No, oh, come on. Okay, which of these guys can I kill? They all look like enemies to me. There goes a Klingon. All right. Taking out the Jimadar soldier. Weapons fire detected. Possession of weapons is a violation of facility regulations. So those of you that like the weapon I'm using, because it does kind of look like a lightsaber, hopefully you're not one of those people totally offended by uh, liking Star Trek, Star Wars. Though, although this is Star Trek or Bad B5. Uh, what's okay? Checkpoint isolated. I run down here. I try to get everything. This is probably just a kind of mo co common item down here. Oh. Catch a cell white. Last time I played Star Trek CCG, I used a uh, Dominion deck and I obliterated my friend with all these ships. Oh boy. All right, I want this guy. Yep, I'm gonna say hi. Oh my God, look at that. This is a brave little friend, you guys. Who knew we could fight along a Jimadar and just be fine? Come on, taking him down. Good. Let's look for another enemy here. Oh. Inmate must return to He's their cells in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so is a violation of facility regulations. Ha! All right. Now, going this way. So I plan to do an episode. Uh, Sorry, a character in the future with all Klingons. It's actually what I'm... Uh, I can't wait to do. Oh, okay. So we got some guys down there. Normally, I would jump... Oh, you little pricks. Oh. Find you annoying. So this is something that's best for, like, a... Tactical. Come on. I hate it when they run away. Tactical characters can actually charge. And there's a skill they have called leap. And so basically you charge at the character as it runs away from you. So that's, region, that's generally why I like to do fighting characters for my tactical characters. All right, so what else do I need to do here? Let's look at the map real quickly. Um, this way. 
violence Let's go ahead and put this there. All inmates are ordered to return to their cells. Oh, you pains in the butt. Armed prisoner. And this is a Picard box, so who really cares? All right. Beta. Escape prisoner. Beta. Let's go ahead and take this prick on. Get back here. Got him flanked too. And you know how much I love to flank him. Oh, I don't want the eight, species 8472. Oh, what the heck was that? This is a brave weapons little preferring, you guys. Possession of weapons is a violation of facility Oh, you little prick. Alright. Alright, come on. All right, we're doing pretty good. Now which way? This way. So again, I highly recommend this episode for ground combat. You do have, again, characters with... Um, oh, this guy again. Characters with... Uh, what am I thinking about? Uh, weapons, but, you know, it's... You know, I think it's fun. Let's see here. We meet again, Admiral. See, now this is an interesting situation. There is no way out, and I can't guarantee your safety unless you return yourself. I could use a transporter, but okay. <coughs> Prisoner secured. Transporting to safe zone now. All right. I have a feeling that he, that's part of some kind of other mission in the future. I just don't remember. All right. Let's Access go to the trans... Restricted. Okay. Access restricted. Primary ice is cold. Ah, there we go. So reinitialize. ISIS. There's the warden. I can take it here from here. There we go. All right. I think now we must head to the transporter. In progress. Primary. Final fight. We have one more fight. Primary ISIS core. That must be a ship battle, I'm guessing. All right. I thought we had a final fight, which we must have already finished because the mission is over. Let's turn the mission. And again, we have a stupid female, which isn't the same thing in this part, but let's go down here, look at my rewards. Uh, again, I highly recommend if you want one, you get the Jemadar here. It's great, great, but I'm gonna accept the shield and that'll give me the complete sex set for the shield. Let's go ahead and collect that. Let's also go you and uh, there's I, there we go. And I also have this duty officer. We'll look at that here in a second. 
But let's go ahead and go see who has this set. There it is. So I'm going to put this shield here. And let's find somebody who needs a better... There we go. Shield. There we go. Also needs armor. Um, but also, again, I'm going to run into episodes where I'm going to get items like this. They're set items. They're worth getting. Let's look at that again. This set item... Oh, no. Oh, that's not it. He has it. That's right. So I can almost put this on myself, and it's a great item. If the thing is, I'm not that too keen on the weapon. And maybe I'll play an episode with that, actually. I might, in fact, I'm, I'm going to play the next episode, at least partially, with that weapon. Um, it has great health regeneration. Uh, see here, uh, part of the set, Jemadar Armor Shroud. So... Armor Shroud, Combat. So it gives you all these abilities. And see here. The weapon, though, is what I want to look at. Oh. Hmm. Polaron times three damage. Okay, let's, I'll, I'm going to try it out again. It's been a while since I played it. So let's go ahead and we will real quickly activate this. I got three duty officers, which are, two of them are Jemadar, and one looks like it's a, uh, Vorta. So, that's, a, that's again, two rares and a, uh, ultra rare. Alright, last thing, let's go ahead and let's look at, oh, you. No, no skills, that's right. That, I was looking to do my level up. But hey guys, with that, we are done with this episode. And I will catch you guys all later.